Good morning. Today is Wednesday, December 9th, I'm tw er, 2015. I'm Chris Ivey. China is trying to decrease the amount of smog in Beijing, but they're not having much luck. And I'm Gabe Camario. NASA is getting out of low Earth orbit business. We've got details. Your CSN News starts now. Snow team, race forms and fees are due by Friday. There are 10 sets of storms heading our way, so think snow. All sophomores, please bring as many cans as possible in for the can food drive. The food drive is part of our spirit points for the assembly Friday. Let's win back the spirit stick and help our community at the same time. If you are a current CHS student and are interested in going on a trip to the tropical country of Belize the last week of winter break in 2016, contact Mr. King for more details. Affordable payment plans available and early signups ensure the lowest pricing. Attention seniors, as we approach winter break, remember that the FAFSA application will be available to submit starting January 1st. The priority deadline for most colleges is February 15th, so make sure you submit by then. See Ms. Kimball if you have any questions. Columbia Cheer Spaghetti Feed is December 12th from 6 to 8 at the Egg Factory on Garrity Boulevard. That's right across from Dutch Bros. Stop by next Saturday night and support the team. Tickets can be purchased from any of the cheerleaders or you can contact Ms. Stevenson for more information. Ten bucks buys you a spaghetti, spaghetti dinner and bread and a salad. Weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high, 43, low, 31. Tomorrow's high, 44, low, 30. Beijing has its first red air over pollution. Millions of school children are cooped up at home. Motorists have been forced off the roads and factories closed across the region. But toxic air still shrouds the Chinese capital in a soupy metallic haze. Beijing announced Monday that it was putting in place measures that included closing schools, limited the number of cars on the road based on their license plates, and banning fireworks, barbecues, and factories and construction is closed. Yet at 4 p.m. Tuesday, walking through Beijing was like strolling through a coal mine and the Municipal Air Quality Index read 308, rated hazardous by U.S. standards, a situation which nobody should set foot outdoors. NASA has been a part of the International Space Station for the last 15 years, but it's let, now letting go of the facility to pursue its goals of flying beyond low Earth orbit. In an advisory council meeting early in December, the agency announced it is making the move to get out of the ISS as quickly as possible, regardless of whether or not the absence is filled by the private sector. Instead, NASA is committed to, towards bringing humans closer to the moon. In an area called cislunar space, this decision to drop the involvement in the ISS is mostly a cost-cutting move. Right now, NASA has a budget around $3 billion every year. By 2020, this figure is expected to reach around $4 billion. Today's SAT word of the day is abdomen, which means a central portion of the animal between the chest and the pelvis. You could use it this way. Everyone seems to want their abdomen to be a six-pack. Thanks for watching. Remember, live the wildcat way. way.